Okay. So I'll just start recording. All right. And power survey, viewpoint panel survey. Wow, you made like four landing pages. Been exactly like the ones you gave me. Perfect. So, so you've been working seriously hard. Wow, you made this. Uh -huh. That's nice. Yeah. I basically did what you said, which was mm -hmm. join for pitch, free today. Copy yep. and paste. So you almost made them hundred percent identical, right? Perfect. Yeah, I did. And and tell me, did you learn a lot while creating these landing pages on how to use Builderall? Yeah. It's so you might have learned a lot of things on how to actually play with it, right? While making these pages, right? Right. Right. Some of this stuff going to have to be critiqued a little bit, but... So, uh, for this day, month, and year, what did you do actually to put these boxes, or is that a picture? This is the picture here, and that's what I mean when I say some I'm going to have to be critiqued. I'm going to have to yep. change this so, box. Can you scroll up? Yeah. The survey box, I mean, this box, gender. So, is this like a responsive, oh. or is this just a picture? Oh, this is just a picture here. And that day, day month, year... Can we put yeah, that's that's just a picture. That's just a picture. That's why that's why I say it is gonna have to be critiqued. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. But, uh, but and, which I, I wasn't sure how to add these. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, it's an HTML form, so we don't have to make things so hard, right? But uh, I just wanted yeah. to. Uh, so I, I just wanted you to be comfortable with builder all. So I was pretty sure that when you make these landing pages, you will have all the understanding of how good can a builder all be. Right. Yeah. It can, it can do what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, can you jump on the first landing page? Yep. The first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is uh, this is a picture right on the right hand mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Can you scroll down? Why join? What this, happens this after? Just I join? A mm -hmm. This is just a this picture. This is just a picture. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, can you scroll up? Back up. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this is what you can do here, right? You can pretty much remove this. Uh, right hand side form right correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, you can pretty much put an opt-in form in place of join now button there just below right. that right correct right. you can you can personalize it with mailing box that way right but the other right. thing would look highly professional correct yeah okay so this is like one my feedback for this landing page on how you can use it your way correct mm -hmm. okay, okay. Uh, so let's go to the second landing page. Now this landing page is pretty easy. Like you can, you can put a pop-up, like claim your $20. You can put a pop-up right. here, right? Mm -hmm. And just, uh, put an opt-in on that pop-up and that goes to your mailing boss. Make sense? Okay. Okay. All right. So this is like pretty easy. You can change yeah. the video here, like whatever, uh, video you want to put. So do you know how to put a video using builder all you just need to drag the video module do you know how to do that i, I did it with one of my the other day but the video didn't play right and i couldn't figure out why okay cool uh so uh but, so in that case you can pretty much remove this whole video and just keep the claim your 20 dollar we just need to um make sure that our okay. landing page looks professional right we don't need to okay. make it look 100% identical. So why empower? So you can choose yeah. to change a few words and put your opt-in box, right? Okay. Rick? All right. Uh, okay. Third landing page. Show me the third landing page. Yeah, I can put an opt-in box right here. Yeah, sure. N not there, but there. Claim your $20 where it says claim your $20, right? You can yep. add. Here. Uh, yep. This button. Oh, you can make right this here. Button. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. let, me, okay. uh, let me start controlling your computer so that I can guide you even better. Well, this is just a picture right here, yep. right now. So, uh, now I'm controlling your computer. Okay. Now, here, what you can do is you can put, uh, 
either an uh, you can put a, a pop up opt in box, right? So when someone clicks here, a right. pop up will come up and he will opt in, right? That uh, mm -hmm. builder all provides that functionality, correct? So okay. uh, you can keep this as it is, or even better, uh, you can you can duplicate this whole landing page and remove all this part at the bottom, right? And just keep the top part, right? Oh, oh, okay. Even it's better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yep, even well, better. When you, you say a pop-up box, what's mm -hmm. the difference between the pop-up box and just a regular box? A regular opt-in box. So basically, uh, uh, when someone clicks this button, a box, pop, box pops up, an email opt-in box. That's called a pop-up box. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do some more research on that. One. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I, uh, I can show you that in Builder all right. But, but pretty much you get the idea. Like you can keep mm -hmm. this, just this page, and remove all the bottom content, and just okay. keep the landing page like this, right? So, okay. let's go to the third landing page now. This looks like much better. This, this could be one of the best landing pages for you to get started, right? Correct. You can yeah. just put the dollar sign instead of this rupee sign, right? This is like R, this is Indian mm -hmm. rupee. And so you can uh, remove this uh, and change it with the dollar okay. sign. But I believe, okay. and put a dollar sign here as well, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, you can pretty much use, you know, a button, correct? A, a, a circle button and then put yeah. a dollar icon here. Just override right. this, right? Correct. Okay. And I okay. believe uh, this would prove the best landing page for your survey offers because this is looking highly professional to me and it does not require any extra editing correct okay so you can pretty much use this for your survey report landing page maybe correct okay okay you can remove this uh, this part become a member today at the bottom right so that this uh, oh there's only one call to action there right correct now let's okay. check this one Wait a minute. remove what part uh, yeah. remove, okay wait a minute okay come back to that page yeah this one you can remove this box right become a member this, today this, yep. oh this, this box thing. Thing here yep yep this whole thing so that we have only one call to action right or maybe you can okay. put in place of this maybe you can put your opt-in box so there are a lot of things that you can do right correct mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, you, you, you just need to start thinking creatively but you pretty much get the idea what i'm telling you right right Mm -hmm. uh, right. Let's go to the other landing. This, this <laughs> looks pretty professional. Uh, um, I just couldn't get this line out of here. That's fine. It's it's looking okay to me. It looks okay though. Anyway, don't it? Looks it? Okay to me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this one, like uh, with this landing page, what you can do is uh, just scroll down. Let's just scroll down. Now with this landing page, this has even the testimonials and even these all, these all uh, you know, authority marks, correct? Mm -hmm. So what you can do is uh, you can pretty much um, keep these things as it is, you know, correct? Okay, okay. Or, or, or maybe just remove all this and just keep the privacy policy disclaimer in terms, right? Okay. If you want to be okay. very legit, right? Correct, uh -huh. so you can remove this part, this all okay. text, right? And what you can do is you can you can uh, keep all these stuff here. You can remove this survey compare dot com. I think this is a, this is something. Uh, this is a review, right? Survey compare. So so you mm -hmm. can change this text maybe with survey voices if you're promoting a survey voice offer, right? Correct or maybe okay. uh, any right. other offer that you took, right? Put put that name. Right. Uh, so. Okay. So basically your next step would be to customize these landing pages as per your likes, right? And here right. where it says uh, the sign up now, this box, um, you can pretty much just simply, simply put your opt-in box, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. uh, enlarge it this much bigger, right? And uh, okay. you can pretty much just put your opt-in box, simple opt-in box, right? Right. With a green okay. call to action and that should be it because this is looking highly professional, you know? Uh, and re you can remove the logo survey compare or put uh, any other logo that you are promoting from from the survey okay. that you're promoting right okay. you can just okay. snip that uh, mm -hmm. logo uh, section and just remove this logo and put that logo here right okay correct mm -hmm. uh, to make things easy you can pretty much override this 
correct yeah yeah um, and uh, you pretty much get the idea how you're going how, how many options you have right correct so um yeah next step would be to actually create your fb ad okay with the ad copy i have given you right uh, and mm -hmm. uh, you would also be at, you you would also uh, be customizing these landing pages as per the feedback i have given you i've already recorded yeah. this session so that okay. you can actually hear that feedback again i'll send this uh, session to you after this call that, that is today um okay. and uh, yeah pretty much uh, that was the feedback on this